three ways to make clouds in Blender. First, we are going to use a cube and then use displace and then put a volume in the materials. Second way, we are going to use a cube, edit it to look like a cloud and then put a volume and assign the volume to the cube and then use displace to create little fluffy parts. And the last one is use a VDB volume that you are going to download on websites and then import them directly in Blender. First, you still have three days to have 70% off on my new course where we create this animation cloud with rain falling, we use particles, a different type of particles we use volumes to create an entire animation you have the link in the description to join the course so first we are going to get this cube tab to go in edit mode and then use face select select this face shift this face shift this face and then do alt e and then extrude individual faces then this is going to extrude all of the faces we can do like this and then this face we're going to put it GZ like this shift get all of the faces and then click here and use individual origin to scale the faces individually S make them smaller like this and then we can use a displace to create little clouds, little um, parts on this tab object mode. We can go in the modifier properties, add modifier, and then first we need to add a subdivision surface. To subdivide our mesh, we can put at like four, like this, and then add a displace modifier. This is going to displace and we need to put a texture on the displace. So here in the modifier, we click new to create a new texture and then click here to go in the texture tab. So now we are, we are in the texture tab here. Type of texture that, you, that we want, we want a clouds, clouds texture. So now this is looking like this, we can adjust the texture. So size, we can put like this depth we can put one and then we can do right click shade smooth now this is looking like this and now we just have to put a volume material so we can go in um, rendered view and also we need to go in render engine cycles so we go in render properties and then cycles then we can put gpu in uh, world properties we can put a sky texture to just put a little light. Um, so color, we put sky texture here and then we can go in render properties and put a transparent background if you want. Uh, so go in film and then transparent. Now we click on our cloud, we can rename um, cloud one then we go in the materials and then the first material, this one, we don't want. Uh, we can um, delete, create a new one. Click on the principal BSDF. We don't want the surface, we want a volume. So we click remove and then in the volume, we put a principal volume. Now this is a volume and we can adjust the color, white and the density. You can put more or less if you want like this and this is looking like this now so this is the first cloud we are going to hide it and then we can go back in solid view the second way shift a we are going to put a cube we are going to do the same as the first cloud tab select this and this Alt E, put this like this and make this one smaller E, like this. And then select these faces, do S, like this. And then tab object mode, 
we can go in the modifiers, add modifier, subdivision surface, put like four, and this one we can put GZ like this. And then, now we have this, we can create a volume. Shift A, and then we have volume here, and we can put empty. Now we have our volume here, we need to go in the modifiers of the volume and put mesh to volume. And then we select our mesh, this one, our cube. Now the volume takes the shape of this cube. And now on the volume, we can add also displace. So we are not going to displace the mesh like the first one, but we displace the volume and it's gonna be more realistic. We create a new texture here for the volume. We go in the texture tab, type, we put clouds, and then we adjust the size here. You can put um, like this. And also we can hide the cube, this one, now, like this. Then the strength, we can put more at two, like this. And now you see the cloud is looking like this. Now we can go in rendered view and we can add a volume material. So we can put the same as the cloud one. So we click here and it was the material 001. And now our cloud is looking like this. And to make it a higher resolution, we can go in the modifiers, in the mesh here, and you have resolution. And then here, when you put more, you're going to be higher resolution. I'm going to put 100 like this. Now the cloud is looking like this. And you can add more displacements if you want. Now the third method, to have um, really big clouds, you can just import already made VDB volume. So shift A, you see open VDB, import open VDB. You can search VDB assets clouds. And then you have a lot of websites where you can get um, VDB clouds. For example, this one, high altitude clouds. And this is going to make clouds like this. So you can get this, you can buy other ones like this one, or you can make your own. And then we go in Blender. I'm going to hide this volume. I'm going to go back in Solid um, View, Shift A, op Import Open VDB. And also you have animation. So you have, you can do smoke animation, cloud animation, explosion animation with Open VDB. So I'm going in the one I downloaded the high altitude big cloud import and now it's going to be a volume and it's going to look like this and you can still scale it and everything now when i go in rendered preview the cloud is going to look like this and again i can adjust the material so i can put the volume material or create new one if i want so if you enjoy this tutorial, you have three days left to get 70% off on the course when we create a clouds and rain animation in Blender. You have all the information in the description. See you in another video. Bye.